everybody i just thought i'd come on here and share one of the boys bedtime stories i've just bought it yesterday from actually and they love it already so i just thought i'd come on here and share it with you and this one is called once upon a bedtime once upon a bedtime a long <sighs> yawn floated down sleepy street Rabbit was very tired and it was time to get ready for bed. Bedtime, Ellie, said Rabbit. Are you going for a story? You haven't had your bath yet, silly, said Ellie. Splish, splash, splashing. Ellie filled her trunk with water and sploosh. Oh, drippy, laughed Rabbit. Ah, look, there's Ollie. Hi, Ollie. We're off to bed. Are you coming? You have to get dry first, said Ollie. Now we're washed and dried. Hmm, what happens next, said Rabbit. I know, said Monkey, swinging by. Pajamas! And then we can sing the bedtime song, said Bird. We've washed and dried and sleepy-eyed. Pajamas on and time for a song. Now what's next? said Rabbit. Hang on, whose tail is that? said Ellie. It's mine, said Crocodile, smiling with his wide crocodile smile. And I know what's next. Teeth. First the ones on top and then the ones underneath. Brush, 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 brush. Mmm, that's better. We're washed and dried and sleepy-eyed. Pajamas on, we sang a song, our teeth are brushed, all clean and bright. It's not nearly time to say good night. Bedtime at last, smiled Rabbit sleepily. Don't forget your cuddles. They all bustled into bed ready for a story. Once upon a bedtime, there was a very tired, sniffle, snuffle, snooze. Who said that? asked Rabbit. Wasn't me, they all gulped. It's coming from under the bed. Mm. Everybody hide, they cry. And they did. Some were better at hiding than others. But Rabbit bravely went to look under the bed and she found a thing. Don't you know it's very late, said Rabbit. You should be in bed. The thing looks sad. I was on my way to bed, it said. I had my bath and brushed my teeth and sang my song, but then I couldn't find my cuddly. I went looking for it and now I think I'm lost. Every, everyone felt sorry for Thing and a little silly for hiding. You must be very sleepy, said Rabbit. Don't worry, you can stay with us. But I haven't got my cuddly, said the thing. I can't go to sleep without a cuddly. That's okay, we've got lots of spur cuddlies, said Rabbit. Oh, can I borrow this one? The thing said, hugging its favourite one tight. Everyone climbed back into bed again and snuggled in. Story time at last. Wait, said Thing. You've forgotten something. We have to turn off the big light. I can reach it. Look. We're washed and dried and sleepy-eyed. Pajamas on, we sang the song. Our teeth are brushed, all clean and bright. Our cuddle is snuggled warm and tight. Time to switch off the big light. Click. That's just right for reading, said Rabbit. And sleeping. You yeah, and the others. Now, where were we? Once upon a bedtime. And they've all gone to sleep. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that story as much as my boys enjoy it. I literally only just bought this yesterday. And it's become one of the boys' favourites already. So I hope you're going to be good boys and girls and I'll see you very soon. Bye.